Hello students, welcome to the first session for the next chapter of biology for 10 standard science. Well, up till now in the last class we have discussed very well about the chapter that is the life processes. There we dealt with the various life processes right from the digestion to the excretion, circulation, the transportation and various other life processes. Well, in all these processes, our body works in a well-controlled and in a well-coordinated manner. So the chapter that we shall focus on today is the control and the coordination. Now, whichever activities we do in our day-to-day -day life, right from the movement to the cycling, running, dancing, even walking, our body works in a well-controlled and in a well-coordinated manner. Well, how it does so? Well, in case of the animals talking about, first of all, there is a specialized system which helps our body to work in a well-controlled and coordinated manner. And that is the nervous system. But nervous system does not only help in doing the task. There is one more system that is the muscular system. So the neuromuscular system which is the nervous system and the muscular system. They together help in the proper movement of the entire body. Well, what is present inside this nervous system? Well, inside this nervous system, there are specialized cells that are responsible for showing the control and the coordination. As for example, whenever we touch a very hot object, our hand is immediately withdrawn. So how it happens? There are specialized cells in the brain, in the nervous system, and those are known as the neurons. So let us observe the typical structure of a neuron. Now this is the diagrammatic representation of a typical neuron. If you observe the structure very carefully, there are two major things. The round cyton, also known as the cell body, which is having its own nucleus and the cytoplasm followed by the cell processes there are two major cell processes the exon and the dendrons the exon is a single one while the dendron or the dendrites they are many so the information from the dendrons is integrated it is basically analyzed in the cyton and then only one information will be going further as for example if you are sitting at a particular place and you are receiving a lot of informations outside the birds are making some sort of noise your friends are calling you the fan is making some sort of noise and your relatives or the family members are calling you so out of all this information only one information will be traveling further what will happen to the rest of the informations well the rest of the information will be eradicated will be removed unconsciously by our nervous system. Well, that information will be traveling from the exon to the dendron of the other neuron by means of some sort of physical gap. And that gap is said to be the synapse. So you might be thinking that through this gap, how the information will be traveled? Well, there are certain chemicals which are released, which help in the transfer of the information. And those chemicals are said to be the neurotransmitters. Neuro, as they are dealing with the nervous system and as they are transferring the messages, so therefore they are said to be the transmitters. So they are said to be the neurotransmitters. Now this information that is traveling is very fast. Within a blink of an eye, the information goes on. So that information from the external surrounding to our nervous system, it occurs very fast. So here we have used the term electrical impulse. Impulse means the messages. So here the information is traveling with the speed of electricity. So therefore it is said to be the electrical impulse. So external heat, when it enters our body, we sweat a lot. So as a result of which we switch on the fan. So that is the electrical impulse. That is the message from the external environment that we get. And 
we give some sort of response and all these informations are traveling within a blink of an eye very fast extremely fast so therefore they are said to be the electrical impulse which brings about a lot of chemical reactions in our body well moving on further into some special actions that are given by god to us and those actions are known as the reflex actions so what is the word reflex mean reflex means on the spot action the action for which we do not have to think so why god has given this actions to us god has given these actions to us because our brain is a thinking organ if we have certain structures if we have certain processes that occur in our body which we have to think then there might be some sort of harm that we will be making on our body as for example whenever we touch a very hot object and if we think and then we do our hand then it will be a difficult task for our body so the reflex actions are given to us for the on the spot actions and then the brain realizes that yes the information is appropriate for the body and the hand has been withdrawn so let us observe the structure of a typical reflex action which takes place in our body well here in the diagram you can see very well that the information is basically sensed by the skin so the hand is touching a hot object so the hotness of that object is basically enters into the skin so skin is acting as a receptor organ it will be receiving the information and through the sensory nerve that information goes on into the spinal cord the spinal cord will analyze the information that if the object is extremely hot then the hand must be withdrawn automatically in a very rapid manner and if it is normal then the hand can be kept as it is but if the object is very hot then the hand is to be withdrawn so that information from the spinal cord will be reaching on to the muscles so these muscles are said to be the effectors so the skin acting as the receptors to receive the information and the muscles acting as the effectors to show some sort of effect that is a withdrawal of the hand well for that purpose there are specialized nerves known as the motor nerves so the information from the sensory organs that is the skin to the spinal cord is by the sensory nerve and the information from the spinal cord goes on into the muscles by means of the motor nerves well let us understand this entire reflex action and the structure of neuron with some sort of animations various activities that we perform in our life in our day to day life like the touch walking sleeping and various other activities that we observe and do in our day to day life that is because of the control and the coordination of the entire body dealing with the nervous system so by the end of this entire chapter what we will be able to understand we will be able to understand the functions of the nervous system the fundamental unit of the nervous system that is the neuron how the communication of the body basically takes place that is dealing with the cns the central nervous system and various body parts furthermore we'll be able to study the structure of the human brain with their typical functions the mechanism behind the movement of the muscles that how the muscles move the numerous actions that the body perform that is the on the spot action that is the reflex action various parts and the functions of the human brain and the way with which they act in our day to day life so let us go into the crux of it now the nervous system basically comprise of the brain the spinal cord 
and a huge network of the nerves which are distributed throughout the body and these nerves they are responsible for the transfer of the messages from the environment to the body and from the body to the environment it is the action and the reaction which the body ultimately performs in order to survive and have a better life so the activities which the humans can control are said to be the voluntary activities like the reading the walking and the activities which cannot be controlled which occurs on its own they are said to be the involuntary activities so brain uses the information it receives from the nerves to control and coordinate all our actions and these actions are running swimming walking and the cycling so by the coordination of the brain it occurs and inside the brain we have the neurons which are nothing but the nerve cells so let us focus on the typical structure of a neuron so if you observe the typical structure of a neuron it mainly consists of the three major parts the cell the cell body that is the cyton the dendrites also known as the dendron and the exon the dendrites are many while the exons are only one and the two neurons are connected by means of some sort of physical gap known as the synapse and this gap is a physical gap which helps in the transfer of the messages the exons or the nerve endings are bundled in a sheath to form a typical nerves in the entire human body such type of nerves are basically controlled and coordinated so that the proper functioning ultimately takes place this is one kind of wiring just as for the telephone exactly in a similar way such kind of wiring is there in the entire body let us understand the types of the nerves well there are various types of nerves but focusing on the three major ones the sensory nerve the motor nerves and the mixed nerves these nerves they carry information in the form of electrochemical signals known as the impulses that is the messages and these nerve impulses they travel to and from the brain and the spinal cord to the muscles located in the body so whenever there is some sort of pricking sensation through the sensory nerve the information will be reaching to the brain that is from the sense organ to the brain it travels by means of the sensory nerves so these are the various sense organs that is the eyes the ears nose the tongue and the skin also so through this the information reaches the brain and from the brain that information reaches the muscles by means of the motor nerves there are mixed nerves which help in the dual functions that is the sensory as well as the motor nerves now the external information from the dendrites they enter into the cyton that is the cell body the messages are ultimately integrated they are analyzed and then one information reaches the exon that information goes on into the dendron of the other neuron by means of the synapse but there are certain chemicals known as the neurotransmitters which help in the transfer of the messages from one neuron to the other neurons and then that information reaches the muscles and ultimately the neuromuscular function which takes place and this entire functions right from the dendron to the cyton and then to the exon it is there in a well coordinated manner there are certain actions that we perform in a day to day life they are on the spot actions that is touching a hot object and withdrawing our hand it is due to this coordination of the entire neurons that is the nerve impulse impulse means 
the messages it is a very fast action the on the spot action within the blink of an eye all these actions ultimately they take place so such actions are known as reflex actions so what are these reflex actions it is an involuntary action by the body the body ultimately does not know but later on it comes to know so what are these reflex actions these are the various actions that we perform in our day to day life so let us understand it in much detail so whenever we touch a hot object we immediately withdraw our hand so this withdrawing of the hand that is said to be the reflex action now how it basically takes place well the human brain is a thinking organ it takes a lot of time to think and then to give the response so god has given us certain actions known as the reflex actions where our brain initially does not play any sort of role and such actions are therefore performed by the nerves that is the sensory nerves and the motor nerves which they ultimately transfer the messages to the major cord of the body that is the spinal cord now let us observe how it ultimately takes place so if you observe very carefully the structure of it the entire structure right from the touching to the withdrawing that is said to be the reflex arc and our entire body is basically protected by this entire function so the spinal cord plays a huge role in it and then later on the brain comes to know that yes such perform such functions are been performed by the body so such reflex arc are formed in the spinal cord itself and then later on the messages are conveyed to the human brain well in case of the animals the brain is not working as much efficiently as in case of the humans so the actions are a bit slow so that was the structure of a typical neuron and the reflex action in case of the organisms well in the next class we shall discuss in much detail about the structure of the brain the spinal cord basically focusing on the human nervous system thank you very much